Benjamin Franklin said, nothing in life is certain except for death and taxes. And while you're not thinking about the end of your life every day, you should be thinking about your taxes. You see, tax planning is a year round event. Fortunately, I'm gonna cover some of the main strategies we use to help our clients save tons in taxes and add massive value back to their plan. Now we're gonna cover a variety of topics and most will apply to everyone, but if there are a few that don't, just stick to the next point because it might be important to you. And first, if you've not met me, my name is Tiago and I run a wealth management firm right outside of Washington, DC. And we help federal employees have a better retirement by focusing on three major components. The first is maintaining your lifestyle in retirement. The second is reducing your taxes. And the third is making sure your assets are doing everything they need to be for your entire life. And we can only work with a certain group of families families each year, so we made this channel to share what's working with the rest of the federal employee community. So if you're a Fed and you're not subscribed yet, now is your chance, and send this to one of your colleagues so that we can help spread the word. All right, here we go. I'm gonna go quickly through these five major categories, and there's multiple sections within, so just listen carefully. And if you miss one because we move too fast, just rewind and rewatch it again. So first up on your personalized tax guide is checking your retirement contributions. The TSP, 401k, 403b, all of those retirement accounts are are now going up to $22,500, and you wanna make sure you're contributing as much as you possibly can while you're working into those accounts. If you're 50 years or older, the catch-up contribution makes your maximum $30,000 for the year. Similarly, you can also do IRA contributions. Just make sure if you're still working, your IRA contributions may not be deductible, but that's okay. You may still wanna do a non-deductible IRA contribution, and if you can, backdoor that into a Roth IRA, even if you earn too much money to make a Roth IRA contribution. Now, there's a rule called the Roth Pro Rata Rule. You need to be aware of that if you're gonna do this kind of thing. If you need help with this, just send us an email, okay? You also want to check if 2023 is a good year for Roth conversions. This is when you move your money from traditional, pay the taxes, and then it becomes Roth. And why would you do this? Well, maybe your income for 2023 is projected to be less than your income when you have to take required minimum distributions or RMDs. RMDs are gonna force you into paying taxes. So if you're in a lower bracket now than you may be in the future, pay the taxes now so that you will pay at the lower rate. This is the kind of thing that can save you tons of money in taxes over your life. Okay, so the next one is income and capital gains taxes. Now there's a lot to this one. So we're gonna hit topics at a really high level. What if I said to you that you could have tax-free healthcare? You would jump right on that, right? Well, that's essentially what an HSA and an FSA is. You put money into those accounts on a pre-tax basis and it actually gets to to be invested and grow for you with no taxes. And then as it comes out for qualified medical expenses, that money comes out totally tax-free. Guys, don't sleep on this benefit. Check out FSA Feds or an HSA if you are qualified. Also in this category, you wanna make sure you're conscious about your taxable accounts. So these are things like your individual accounts, your joint accounts, your trust accounts, if you have those. You want to do things like tax loss harvesting or swapping tax lots or utilizing tax-efficient investments like ETFs or municipal bonds. You also want to regularly tax manage those accounts. As volatility happens, there's tax savings even if the markets are going up. This thing alone can help you save thousands if not tens of thousands of dollars in tax liability throughout the course of your retirement. And guys, listen, it's a huge missed opportunity. I cannot tell you how many families have come to us this year loaded with taxable accounts that have mutual funds inside of them. With those vehicles, you're paying taxes when you don't need to. So get this resolved next year so that you're set going forward. Also, if you have kids, consider utilizing a 529 account. 529 contributions get a state tax deduction. And just like the FSA and the H HSA, that money gets to be invested, it gets to grow on a tax deferred basis, and then if it comes out for qualified educational expenses, it's tax-free money. Okay, so the next category we'll discuss is charitable giving. Now, I understand not everyone can or wants to be charitable, but if you do, then the next minute or so is for you. If you're 70 and a half years old, then you're eligible for something called a qualified charitable distribution. You take money from your IRAs and send it straight to a charity. So rather than taking it out of the IRA, paying the taxes, then writing a check to charity, they count towards your RMDs, you don't pay income tax on it, and you get to send money to charity. Everybody wins. Also, if you have a more significant pile of money to your name, you might want to consider donor advised funds. 
This can be really helpful in saving lots of money for you. We've left some links in the description below that talk more about this if you're interested. Guys, and what else is on your list that we've not mentioned yet? Go to the comment box and type out what are you doing to help save with taxes this upcoming year? I'd love to hear from you. The next category is estate planning and wealth transfers. The annual gift exclusion amount that you can give to each person for 2023 is $17,000. This number gets to be excluded from your lifetime estate tax. If you're projected to be leaving significant wealth for your heirs, then maybe annual gifting is helpful to your family to help reduce that tax overall. Also on the topic of death, make sure you're checking your wills and your trusts. Tax laws have changed over the last few years, so make sure that they still address all of those new variables that have been introduced and that everything is still smooth sailing. Make sure what you're doing in your estate planning is within the context of your retirement plan. All right, and so we also have some pretty significant tax concerns for 2023, and that's what we're gonna cover next. So listen carefully to see if any of these apply to you, okay? These are things you want to watch out for next year and make sure you're staying on top of what needs to be changed. Inherited IRAs under the new 10-year rule still for 2022 don't have an annual distribution amount. We feel pretty strong that they're going to change that in the future. It may be for 2023 where now you have an annual requirement. Just understand that this is going to change the rate at which you need to pull money out. Obviously, that impacts your taxes. Speaking of RMDs, they're now at 72 years old, no longer 70 and a half. That has been around for a little bit, so maybe you heard about that one. But basically, this means you have bigger RMDs that are going to be coming coming down the road for you. That inevitably may force you into a higher tax bracket. So what are you doing between now and then to address this problem? Now is the time to get on it. We've got plenty of videos that talk about what you can consider doing. We'll put links in the description below. Now there's also some more law changes coming up. The Secure Act 2.0 has been thrown around. We actually wrote about these changes inside the article. So rather than discussing all of that in here, we're gonna put the link to the article below. Just check that out after this video. But there's things like RMD changes, contribution changes, retirement account changes, all kinds of things on the table. One of which includes removing the backdoor Roth. So what we talked about early, this might actually be the last moment where you have the ability to do that. And if you found any of these helpful today, do us a favor and let us know by hitting that like button. Until next time, stay wise and stay wealthy.